Hi viewers. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Based on the location where you are, let's start with praises and worship. In the morning, when I rise, in the morning, when I rise, in the morning, when I rise, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me topic rescue for the righteous rescue for the righteous uh bible text today is taken from jeremiah chapter 38 verse 1 to 13 jeremiah chapter 38 verse 1 to 13 we read verse 1 then shepatia the son of Matta, and gedalia the son of poor choir and Joker, the son of Shelmia, and Puan, the son of Melchiam, heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken unto all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, He that remained in this city shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, but he that goeth forth to the Chaldeans shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey, and shall live. Thus says the Lord, this city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which shall take it. Therefore the princes shall therefore the princes said unto the king, We beseech thee. Let this man be put to death, for thus he weakened the hands of the men of war that remained in this city, and the hands of all the people, in speaking such words unto them. For this man seeketh not the welfare of this people, but the odds. Then Zedekiah the king said, Behold, he is in your hand, for the king is not he that can do anything against you then took they jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of malchiam the son of amelich that was in the court of the prison and they let down jeremiah with cords and in the dungeon there was no water but mine so jeremiah sought in the mine now when a bee Melik the Ethiopia, one of the eunuchs which was in the king's house, heard that they had put Jeremiah in the dungeon. The king then sitting in the gate of Benjamin. Uh, Abi Melik went forth to, out of the king's house and spoke to the king, saying, My lord, the king, these men have done evil. 
in all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they have cast into the prison, and he is like to die for hunger in the place where he is, for there is no bread in the city. Then the king commanded Hebimelech, the Ethiopian, saying, Take from hence thirty men with thee, and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he die. So Abimelech took the men with him and went into the house of the king under the treasury and took thence old coats, coats and old rotting racks and let them down by cords into the dungeon to Jeremiah. And Abimelech the Ethiopian said unto Jeremiah, Put now these old cords and rotten rags under the handholds, under the cords. And Jeremiah did so. Verse 13. So they draw up Jeremiah with cords and took him up out of the dungeon. And Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Praise the Lord. Our verse. Then the king commanded Abimelech, the Ethiopian, saying, Take from thence thirty men with thee, and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he died. In Jeremiah 38, verse 10. A Christian lady walked on the 64th floor of the tower of the World Trade Center. When an airplane crashed into the building on the morning of September 11, 2001, as she made her way downward to the 13th floor in a bid to escape, the tower collapsed, trapped in the darkness and buried in pulverous cements and glass. Things seemed unimaginably hopeless. She prayed, Lord, I know you are dear. I am asking you to help me. In response to her prayer, help came after about 25 hours of entrapment. She heard a voice saying, They are going to get you out of, the, out of here. At the same time, a hand held on to her hand she had stretched forth. She was eventually rescued as the last survivor in that deadly attack. It indeed comforts that although the righteous like Jeremiah in our test sometimes find themselves in challenging situations. God does not leave them alone. God will not leave you alone. You might be going through difficult moments right now, but God will not forsake you. Help me. Help is on your way. He will rescue you. Challenge in trouble. Call upon God. In trouble, call upon God. God, save me. Lord, save me. That is our prayer point. Lord, save me. Lord, show me your mercy and help me as you help this young lady. Lord, I pray that you will help me. Lord, you will visit me. And Lord, you will change my situation. Oh God, you will strengthen me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Please, viewers, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Any question you have, please, you can ask in the comment section. God bless you.